I'm, I'm Charles E. Cooper. I was born and raised in Hampstead, Maryland. I lived in Carroll County all my life. Hmm. And I went to school at the Hampstead Elementary and Hampstead High School, which is now a senior citizens complex in Hampstead. I went to church at St. John's United Methodist Church, which is next to the school, and I've been a member of St. John's now 66 years. So how has the church changed? Uh, the church is, the original building is still there, but it's been a lot of changes. The, uh, I remember when they moved the uh, parsonage up on Hillcrest, that was in 1958, and I watched that being moved, and I have a couple pictures of the uh, parsonage set now on Main Street when they moved it. And the old post office was right across from St. John's. Uh, it's a parking lot for the uh, M&T Bank right now. And I graduated in 1948 from Hampstead, and 1950. Six was last year of the uh, Hampstead High School that went to North Carroll uh, High School then. And I started driving the school bus. I worked at the Homer Snyder's auction uh, from 1955 until 1964. Mm. And I, was, I guess you call a manager there at the Snyder's auction, took in the furniture and put it on shelves and so forth, and then helped on a Friday nights, and also drove the school bus with it. And at the same time, I started out as a substitute mail carrier at Hampstead Post Office. And I was the post office, Hampstead Post Office, until 1964, where I went to Balmer Post Office and worked there for six months, and then was transferred back to Hampstead where I retired in 1987. And I took uh, early retirement and uh, I worked for Curl County Electric for two years. And after Curl County Electric uh, uh, kind of went under at the time because of the housing and so forth at that time. And uh, I went with a cleaning service during uh, cleaning with churches and several places through uh, here in Westminster until uh, 1990, 1999. In 1999, I uh, retired altogether. I was uh, 69 years old. And then 70, 1972, I had uh, heart trouble. And 1905, or 2005, I moved here to Curley's Village. I've been here now three, three and a half uh, years. I'll uh, be here three and a half years this October. And Hampstead is, has changed a lot. Uh, starting in, well, in uh, 1951, I, I went to the Marine Corps, went to service, was in Korea, and uh, was wounded twice. And I come home in 1953, Fall '53, I was discharged, and I went back to uh, help my father on the farm and uh, drive my dump truck. And I've seen a good bit of the country with driving. Uh, in this area, I, hauled, I drove the truck out of Hyde's Quarry on Hyde uh, Road, I think it's called. And uh, that was 1951, or 1950, I called. Uh, with driving truck, and then 1954, and a fellow drove for, sold his truck, and 1955, that's when I started with Snyder's Auction in, in the post office, and also I uh, was a caretaker at Hampstead Cemetery for a number of years, and I was just the uh, president up until 2005, I was uh, about, I think about eight years, as president of Hampstead Cemetery, and we made a lot of changes in that. And uh, the town uh, is, has uh, expanded in the last 50 years. Uh, and same way with, uh, well, Curl County has, uh, has changed. 
1954 when I was driving the dump truck. I hauled stones out here on the new 140, which was a bypass Westminster, and all that was country. But it was all, to, to me, I wasn't familiar with it because I didn't get to Westminster that much. I wasn't familiar with Westminster that much. But uh, uh, the one incident I remember was uh, black topping the bridge over top of 27 and, and uh, 140. And Harry T. Campbell from uh, Towson uh, black topped that. And Mel Atier from, I don't know, it was North Carolina or South Carolina had the contract on, on the bypass through there. And it was down by Reese and on up to uh, just beyond 27 when, when, it's, uh, when, uh, uh, when it stopped there on, uh, I can't think of that road now. A anyway, it was on the side of Roy Rogers. And as far as the church, well, looking back in the church directory, uh, I've got a directory of back to 1968 and up to date. Uh, it's, you might say, it's practically all new members in there, in the church now. And a lot of people in Hampstead right now that don't know, it's newcomers come in. And at the post office, made a lot of friends. And I enjoyed it when uh, Postmaster Phillips was in at the time. Uh, he was, I uh, worked under, I think it's eight postmasters, including two in Balmer. And uh, right now, I'm taking it easy here at Carl Luthen Village, and made a lot of friends here, and I guess this will be my home the rest of my life. Let me ask you a little bit about, you said you had some heart trouble. What were the hospitals like? Where did you go? Uh, I was here in Carroll County. Well, I started out, uh, I was playing bingo down at Boring Far Hall, and uh, I got dizzy, and they called the ambulance, and the uh, Hampstead Ambulance and the Town Ambulance, and the Arcade Fire Company was there. And But I was lucky there at Boring, they was having the, uh, the medics was having a meeting, and within minutes, they, the, the uh, medics was there and, and took care of me. But come find out uh, later on that I had uh, uh, Meniere's disease, which is a dizziness mm -hmm. and all, and I lost the hearing in one ear over that. And, uh, but now I've learned to live with it. And I found out that uh, I'm not the only one that's, that has it. It's several people here mm -hmm. in Carroll Leaf Village that has it. Did they take you to Carroll County Hospital? I went to Carroll County Hospital. Is that where you were born? Uh, no. I was born uh, at home on the Upper Bucketsville Road. I lived on a farm and I helped my father farm up until 1970 when he passed away. And we had to sell the farm because he didn't have a will. And if he had one, we couldn't find it. And I have uh, uh, three brothers and two sisters, which uh, right now my older sisters passed away and two younger brothers passed away. Mm -hmm. And I just had a brother passed away about a year ago. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, my older sister had cancer. My youngest brother had cancer. And my next brother uh, was next to me had heart trouble. Mm -hmm. And my oldest brother had cancer, but he's survivor. Mm -hmm. Good for him. What about, so you say you were born at home. Did the doctor come to the house? Then? We had a family doctor. Mm -hmm. And he, that was common practice? That was common practice, yes. Mm -hmm. As far as I know, that's where I was born at, <laughs> on the Upper Bucketsville Road in Hampstead. Mm -hmm. And uh, the farm is still, part of the farm is still in, in the Cooper uh, State, no, my brother, uh, owns part of it now. Mm -hmm. The one passed away, so it's still still in the family, you might say. Did you use a grocery store, or did you live off it, the farm? Well, we, we had garden, and uh, we always called it a truck patch, uh, and a garden also. And we did all of our uh, grocery shopping at Heisen Brothers in Hampstead. 
then uh, uh, they have several other grocery stores but uh, in Hampstead, but uh, it was Sixties and Snyder's and Heisen Brothers, but uh, who, the father always dealt with Heisen. <laughs> mm -hmm. Where'd you go for um, clothes? Well, our clothes uh, store, but, well, my mother died in 1939. I was, I was just nine years old. I was, uh, birthday was on December 4th, and she died on December 10th. Mm. So my sister, my oldest sister, raised all of us. Mm. And uh, she was, uh, I think, around 18 at the time. And it was, uh, my sister said, was talk about some of the neighbors wanted to, to take us in, but my father said no, if he could keep us all together, he, which he did, and my sister raised us all. So she was like a mother, well, I said, actually she was a mother to us. Mm -hmm. But uh, she passed away uh, 17 years ago. And uh, uh, we went shopping to Hanover, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. And I remember in, uh, I guess at six, seven years old, we had a Model T Ford. And we went to Christmas shopping in Hanover. And it was a store called Sherman's Store that uh, my sister dealt with, this, uh, with the uh, store. And the proprietor there was real nice, and he always looked out after us and gave her discounts because he knew the family history and all. But you don't find that today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little different. <laughs> yes. And I remember one morning when we left early, uh, we had neighbors come in. Well, we did milking at home. We shipped milk at the time. And the father took the old Ford, and we did get home about 9 o'clock at night. And I remember, I don't know whether I'll say this or not, but anyhow, J.C. Penney's has Santa Claus in it, and they give us an orange. And uh, that was a treat. And then we went to, uh, I think, Murphy's store. It was next door. And here Santa Claus was in there also, handing out oranges. And I couldn't figure out how Santa Claus could get from one store so it kind of uh, put two two together mm -hmm. that uh, something mattered. <laughs> that uh, uh, I was getting older, you know, right, enough right. that uh, I, I didn't think it was really a Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you worked at the post office too. Yes. And so, how is the post office different than the post office we know today? Did they deliver? To uh, I, I started uh, as a substitute carrier, delivered out on a route, mm -hmm. and uh, the area has really grown since then. And while I was in the post office, uh, then I went to Balmer, uh, was down there six months, transferred to Balmer, and then I got transferred back to Hampstead. When I came back to Hampstead, I was a full-time clerk, window clerk, distribution window clerk. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, at the time, uh, things have changed a lot. We had a lot of the old time ways. We had to figure up a lot of things in our head or on paper and pencil, mm -hmm. where now they have the computer and the more modern. And when I got out in 1987, they were starting to change, and I didn't want to, it be like starting all over again. And that's what I, when I, when I, Got mm -hmm. out, <laughs> mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. I was old enough to, and had enough years in to go. So right. I had 35 years in, so I went ahead and retired. Took early retirement, you might say. Right. What was uh, what did you do for fun when you were growing up? Well, in the summertime, we used to go back swimming in the meadow on Sunday afternoons. My father, he was pretty strict. He, uh, it was different things we didn't do on Sundays. We we could play ball and like that, mm -hmm. but uh, any work, ordinary any extra work we couldn't do. He wouldn't allow it, mm -hmm. other than the, what you had to do, like feeding the cows or horses, and chickens, you know, or ordinary work. Mm -hmm. But uh, we used to play uh, softball. Use a take a ball and. Uh, uh, broom handle or something was a bat. We didn't have a ball glove. And uh, 
we play, used to play caddy. I was going to take a little piece of wood and handle and take the ends and, and uh, point them and take, hit them and maybe throw them uh, 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 just exactly how it went now. But anyhow, you hit the each ends and took turns. And you used to throw a ball over a shed roof or something like that and bat them. Mm -hmm. just, just like that, you know. But as far as games, well, uh, the only cards we could play was old maids, and my father wouldn't let us go to, uh, when we got older, we, we never went to shoot pool or anything, because that was uh, gambling, I guess you might say, mm -hmm. or it wasn't uh, in the line of religion. Mm -hmm. So he was, he was my father was strict on that. Mm -hmm. So it didn't hurt us any. <laughs> That's right. That's right. What do you miss the most about how Carroll County used to be? Well, I, uh, the old Tom way, you, you don't see any horses or uh, any old cars like you used to, and it's all getting fast, you might say, modernized, and more roads, and more houses and all. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know growing up on the farm, well, my job, uh, but hauling hay was was loading hay on the wagon. My brother and father would throw it up. Of course, that was all by hand. And same way with uh, wheat and barley, I did the load and drove the horses and all, mm -hmm. pulling them up. And uh, father and farm road uh, had a little uh, piece of ground on Fairmount Road that we farmed. And uh, at the age of about thirteen, I guess it was, we used to take. Uh, haul hay from there. We'd have to go around through Hampstead with the horses wagon and come down back to Joe Road. And I can remember that the old alley uh, in back of well, it'd be above the far hall now. It was all stone and rough in there, and uh, I, uh, there was a shortcut through there rather than go out on Main Street. Because going out on Main Street, going back to Joe Road, had a little place one time there on the corner of what we called the hotel, uh, had a pair of horses in and it was by myself and the horses couldn't, got to slip them on the road and I had trouble and some of the people came out and helped me uh, to back up the wagon and get up the hill and all. But uh, from then on I went, I took the shortcut even if it wasn't a little stony through uh, the alley. But mm -hmm. I wished I always had pictures but it was growing up like that, and you didn't have the money, and we, and we didn't take pictures. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> if, if you were describing Carroll County to someone who's never been here, how would you describe it? Uh, somebody that's never been here, I'd say it's a nice county. I always like to live in Carroll County. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, this area here, uh, 1950 and 54 and drove through here. I always liked this area too because it was out in the country. And the Carroll County was always, or uh, Hampstead was always in the, you know, in the country mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Of course, now the city, you know, it's, uh, uh, it's getting built up. It's, uh, it's uh, from Manchester to Hampstead, you might say. It's very little bit of open ground, farming ground, and mm -hmm. it's getting that way in a lot of places now. Yeah. Well, was there anything else you, you can think of that you'd like to share about when you were growing up? Well, our, father, our brothers and sisters, we, we used to have our scraps and all. I think that's in any family. Mm -hmm. And uh, I liked uh, our Snyder's auction. I learned a lot. I got traveled around a whole lot of furniture out of Baltimore and different mm -hmm. places and met a lot of people. Yeah. And once in a while, I still see some people that uh, I know the faces, but don't know the name because when they started with the number system, uh, you got so that you didn't know the names. You know, when the auctioneer would call oh, the names. Oh, right, right. Because now they have you hold up a number. A uh, number, right. Uh -huh. And back then, you knew everybody, huh? Yes, uh huh. Yeah. And that was probably the same way in the post office. Yes. Well, the post office. Uh, uh, where you learn a lot of people uh, coming in and doing, and when you had box rents come due, mm -hmm. uh, they come in to, to pay their, uh, every mm -hmm. three months to pay their book box rents. 
You worked for the uh, undertaker too. No, I worked at the post or the cemetery. 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 Mm -hmm. So I started actually in the cemetery in 1940 uh, when my mother died in 1939. Then my sister and I moved uh, the mm -hmm. lot. How old is that cemetery? Uh, that I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my brother, in 1965, when I went to uh, Balmer, my brother took over as a uh, manager of it, and uh, he was manager until 19, in the 1990s when he had cancer, and he had to, to give it up. Mm -hmm. And uh, I went on uh, the cemetery board, I guess about 1990, mm -hmm. and then, uh, uh, let's see, about 1995, I guess I've become president. Do we do things different in the cemeteries now than they used oh, to? Oh, yes. What's different? Well, they used to dig them by hand, the mm -hmm. graves. And now then, most of them dug the machine. Or, so did they do it year-round? What did they do in the winter? In the, well, well, my brother, I, I never dug the graves. I never dug but one grave in my life, and that was that shallow. I helped the fellow do it. Mm -hmm. And uh, my brother dug them by hand at the time. And then when he couldn't do it, uh, they had people come in with a backhoe. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, my brother, when he had in the winter time, when he when he had uh, frozen ground, sometimes uh, Walsh Construction, he'd get some of their helpers to come down. They had air hammers or something like that would would help mm -hmm. them break to, it up to get started. Mm -hmm. you know. Wow, that was hard work. Yes, <laughs> but. Yeah. Uh, uh, the Hampstead uh, Cemetery, I'm in the present, let's see, that's uh, about six years ago. The town wanted to make the school with the senior citizens, and uh, uh, we negotiated a piece of ground uh, with them that they put a road in for the school. And uh, we, at the time, we didn't think, uh, I didn't think it made it work out. But uh, it, everything worked out fine on it. I talked to uh, uh, Julia Walsh on the county commissioners at the time mm -hmm. and everything, and uh, it went through uh, really successful. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> but uh, right now, well, maybe you heard about it uh, here about a month ago, they had some vandalism there. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. But they, they found out who did it and all. Oh, good, good. But uh, it's one of those things you don't know, and it's a, it's a, I, I think these people that, that does it, in, in later years, they'll regret it. Right, right. Think, what was I doing? What was I thinking? <laughs> uh, that's right. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, thank you for sharing all those uh, uh, memories you have of Carroll County. Well, uh, thank you for inviting me. <laughs>